Sorry, there you go, the, one, the 120 edition. That's really nice. Number four out of the series. Number four? Yeah. Wow, look at that. Where's the, where's the marking? There it is. Wow, four out of, out of 16, 1600. 16, 1600. The first went to the archives, the first two, the other two and three probably went to the PPs and CEOs. And then wow. We got this beautiful thing. That's beautiful. Is it, did anybody buy it yet? Yes. Okay. She was sold before she was even delivered. Oh, wow. We drove down to Virginia to pick her up. Oh, wow. You see where I'm going? I just got back from uh, Harley. Uh, this is a, a short preface of the video that you're gonna be watching right now. It just occurred to me, I had one of my parts, one of my bolts that holds uh, the signal light, the turn signals on my fairing fell. I don't know, I thought for some reason I didn't put, oh man, let me, let me through. I didn't uh, put blue Loctite on it and it just fell. I just noticed while I was washing the bike. So I said, okay, how do I get the, the new bolt? And then I started searching. I, I was able to locate the part number. Then I realized a lot of times I've been getting questions from people like how to, how to find certain stuff. And then I realized, it might be obvious to me and it might uh you know be something new to you so i want to show you on my computer how to locate a part number on harley davidson website like any part that you uh, think you want you want to know the number you want to buy you want to whatever figure it out i'll show you how to find it on on their website Obviously, go to first the Harley website. Let's go for the first uh, the first way. I don't have the part number. Okay, I know the bolt. I know what it looks like. I know where it came off. So one method to do it. Let's just write the name of the part that um, that fell. It's it's uh, the bracket that holds the signal light. So and it connects to the engine guard. So let me start with the engine guard. I'll write engine guard. Over here on the search engine, engine guard, engine guard, and it starts to show me all the different options. So I'm gonna take uh, the mustache engine guard that I have. That's one option. I go into the engine guard, and over here under the mustache engine guard, you see the pictures, you see a description over here, uh, and uh, you see these tabs these where it says details and reviews and stuff like that. There's a lot of hidden information down there by details. So let's go into the details. If you go into the details, you can say, it says what uh, bike it fits, it fits this and this model, whatever, forward controls, yes, no, 22 or later. And then it also writes over here, right here, requires separate purchase of the flat out bar adapter kit, part number so and so. So you have to say to yourself, what is that? To install this, what is that uh, part number? So let's copy, let's copy this part number, okay? And we'll go back again to our uh, search bar and just uh, type in the, the part number. I'm pasting in the part number, just waiting for it. And it shows me, oh, look, you have the FLX RST fairing support kit. Okay, that is the kit, uh, the part that holds the bracket that holds the sig the turn signals. So let me click on it. I go into that specific kit, that part number. And again, it shows like you see, like you see pictures and uh, where exactly it's supported and like what it holds and stuff like that. And as I said before, price and everything, you know all that already. But as you also know, there's like a description over here of all the parts. And this exactly, you see these four bolts right here? One of them broke, and that's the part I'm looking for. But how do I how do I tell the the guy at uh, Harley, you know, the parts uh, the parts guy over there, what I'm looking for? So if you keep looking at the description, it tells you exactly what the part is. And again, you go to the details. That's where all the secrets hide. Open that up and it tells you details, da 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 It required for installation of the flat out bar, the mustache engine guard, and the traditional engine guards. Fine, very good. And if you notice over here, there's installation instructions. You see that it's clickable as well? If I click this, this opens up a new tab. And over here, you have the instructions, the skill level needed, and there's part there's a description of, and and a list with uh, numbered parts i mean with no, uh, numbers uh pointing at each part and if you see these bolts right here and these bolts right here are number seven so if i go down here and scroll down look for part 
number seven. There it is. There's part number seven. Let me zoom in a little bit. It's That's part number seven. Quantity, there are four of those. That's true. And it's a screw socket. And that is the part number. So I write that down or screen shoot it or even use my phone to take a picture of it. And that's the part that I go, uh, part number I go with when I go over to Harley and ask for that part. That's one way of getting there. Let's see another way uh, of getting to something like that. There's also a, a generic, uh, let's say you don't know exactly where and you know what exactly you're looking for. You can always go homepage, okay? And if you look uh, under parts, where is parts? Right there. Look over here on the right. You see that it says, oh, you have to get it right. New OEM service parts. This is a list of all the possible parts and it goes uh, by actually, you can actually write uh, by model or a part number and it pretty much is a search bar that would get you to the same place. Or you can uh, browse by catalog. Let's say I want to go, my bike is a 2022. I click 2022, what bike do I have? I have a Softail, right? Go to the Softail and which one am I looking for? I'm looking for a 2022 Lowrider ST right here, FX LRST. I click that and now I have a full list of, of diagrams of uh, the parts that I'm looking for, of all the systems. So literally look for it. It's a little bit more uh, generic to look for it, not as, uh, not as accurate. But if, again, if you, you know what you're looking for and you know that, okay, I'm looking uh, here to show more, I'm looking for a part in the uh, uh, fairing, a fairing support, I would look here and I go into it and it literally shows me all the parts and there's the, the numbers and over here it's the pricing and literally the part number and uh, corresponding with the diagram on the left. So that's another way to do it. What my bottom line I think is uh, is read when you go into the when you go into the parts that you're finding or whatever. You can also go th through generically parts over here and go by system. Uh, for example, batteries. Oh, let's see all parts. Let's see if it gives me a bigger list. Yeah, that's all like completely. Anyway, there's like endless ways to find and search. I think bottom line, the way to go is write what you're looking for over here. And if it doesn't go exactly first time, give it another try. If it didn't go by signal light, see if I write, wrote over here signal light. Signal light. Well, it's not really showing me what I'm looking for. So... I simply go in and use a different term, engine guard, use fairing, whatever you're looking, every part you're looking for, or you can even look for it visually till you actually find and locate the part. But there are different ways to search, search this website, the Harley website, and I think the most important is what is hiding uh, inside the, the description and uh, beyond the description, always look at the details. That's where all the magic where all the magic happens. It tells you what it fits, what it does not fit, what other additional uh, parts you need, kits you need, and this installation instructions, which you can actually do the install with it, and uh, other stuff. So make sure to always look at the details, and then you get full, full uh, explanation of all your parts you need, and that's pretty much it. So let's go back to the video. Hope this helps you guys. I found the part number for the screw and was able to go to Harley and to instead of uh, standing there and wasting their time and trying to figure it out, I just came over. Hey buddy, how you doing? Good, thank you, how are you? Thank you very much. Uh, how can I help you today? Okay, all I want is a part number. Shoot, I told him the part number and he says to me, none, back ordered three months from now. So I'm actually <laughs> on the way to Lowe's you see right there, Lowe's, and I'm going to find a generic. I'm going to try to find a generic fit. But anyway, uh, that's how I located the part number for the screw that I was missing. When I come over to Lowe's, you see the entrance? Pro, Pro. You know why I go in through Pro? Because my car is parked right here. Uh, no other reason. So let me try and find uh, and locate that.
that screw. If they have, I'm trying to find a screw that would fit, would be a replacement for this. Now, just for now as a patch, they have the exact thing, uh, exact uh, thread, obviously, but it also has a Torx, a Torx. But even if I don't find a Torx until it hardly gets the part, I'll do with that. Okay, this is obviously not paid. I'm in Lowe's, they have their, I think they're, personally, I think their customer service is way better. Now, this may be obvious to you. To me, it's not, so I'm showing you, I'll show you what I did. I was able to find one of these uh, charts, one of these uh, trials, and I was able to locate that this, to size it, that this is a 10, 10, 20, 10 by 24, whatever that is. It's standard, 10, 24, it works. Now, the biggest problem would be to yeah. actually find it among this whole set of drawers. The best thing is to actually ask somebody. If not, then just simply go and start looking for, uh, you know, whenever you see something that looks kind of like it. I found it over here, went inside and found this to be the 10 by 24. Uh, see by 10 by 24 and it's a three quarter, a three quarter inch. So I was able to find a replacement. Looks very much alike. The only thing that might be different is that the head is not a, a Torx, but who gives, who gives a shit? So there you go, Harley didn't have it, but this is the way to find it. Back in the garage, so this, this is the part where I lost the bolt right over here, the screw right over here. And it, it secures the uh, bracket that holds a signal light. It's a turn signal bracket right here. So I'm gonna replace all four and put Loctite on them this time. And it's exactly the same bolt, same screw, simply with the head that is, uh, instead of a uh, Torx, it's um, Allen. So we'll do that. So I came to uh, uh, bolt it in and screw it back in. Apparently in this bracket, the bolt inside snapped, the head snapped, and I had to go over to, to uh, Tor Custom Cycles to extract the stud that was left inside. It just broke. I'm not gonna go through the whole process, but I had to pretty much take the whole bike apart, the whole uh, fairing, outer fairing, to take the bracket off right here. And it connects here and take it over to Mike. See the, the bolt? The head uh, simply snapped off. But anyway, what do I do when I need, when I'm in trouble? I come over to Tour Custom Cycles. Mike is gonna help me out over here. And we're gonna extract that stud that's left. I'm gonna use this kit over here to extract. Is that what it looks like when you have it stacked? <laughs> I can't say that. Hit the screw. Hit the screw? Mm-hmm. So we got it out, uh, cleaned it up, and threaded it. We actually didn't need to do much threading. New, uh, what is it called? Uh, tapping. tapping. Yeah. We didn't need to do much tapping because uh, he was able to get the drill bit through in the middle, so not a lot of fixing to be done. Now, we'll take it back to the garage and install the fairing back in place. Mike, thanks. No problem, Turn anytime. Around. Turn around. There you guys, there you go guys. Tour Custom Cycles, check him out. Mike, in New Jersey, if you're local, this is a place to come and uh, check it out. We're gonna do our, our cam over here in a month from now, so stay tuned guys. Thank you, Mike, again. Thank you so much. Now let's put the bike together again, back together again.
I'm in Israel. My nephew, my nephew over here came to pick me up. This guy is six foot, six foot five. Basketball player. We're sitting in a mini, a mini Cooper turbo. Look at this car, look how small it is. Pretty much he has to open up the sunroof to, to fit inside. <laughs> I get myself some shawarma. It's not it's not the dolls, not Mamoon's Mamoon shawarma, but it's should be good. This is known Lafa, Hebrew Lafa, uh, Iraqi pita. It's pretty much a wrap. They roll it up. Tahini and Amba. <coughs> and before you know it, it's gone, demolished. Hope you found this interesting and that uh, somewhat helped you out. Uh, I'm Sandy watching Holy Shift till the next video, guys. Peace out.